My name is Brian Nylander. I was the design manager for the Challenger exterior. My name is Jeff Gale. I was lead exterior designer on the Dodge Challenger. The grill idea came up of not having the cross the crosshair in there like the concept had. And you look back to the older cars, you know, each of the grills on every one of those vehicles was different. You, you look at 70, 1970, 71, 72 and 3, you know, obviously were unique to the, the earlier cars, um, even in headlight shape and all the bezels around it. So you start to look at all those little details and, you know, we were trying to capture that mind's eye view of the original Challenger that everybody remembers, and that's the 1970 car. And when you start to add up things like cooling requirements that we had gotten in there and just what looks natural, you know, it was that original 70 grill with, without much detail in there. There was just a nice, you know, pattern that was in the grill, you know, a nice surround around it. And then that recessed area that encompasses the headlamps, the grill and everything else. And then just by recapturing that without the crosshair was just so much more natural for the front end of the car. You know, that really started in the studio where we were looking at the original car, and it just seemed so natural with no crosshair in there. It was just the one open nacelle there. And uh, so we put together some images to show what that would look like if the crosshair weren't there. And, uh, you know, at first within the studio and design offices, it's like, well, you know, we really need the crosshair, the look of, you know, Dodge in there. But I think everyone realized that the Challenger really is unmistakably Dodge. No one's going to mistake it for anything else. And I think people began to become more comfortable with leaving the crosshair out of the front end. And it ended up being a benefit for aero also for cooling of the motor. So it, it was kind of a win-win situation there. The things that we were able to get through, such as the front end design with the grill and the headlamps being recessed, the black areas around it, the black areas around the, you know, the, the tail lamps, and being able to keep the, the flavor of what the concept was and be able to have all those pieces and parts in there and still have it go through our production assembly at Brampton is, was just, I think, was, an, was awesome. To know that we got all that stuff through, have it maintain so much character of the concept and uh, you know, have that flavor or mind's eye view of the old Challenger was just, it was a great program to work on. You know, if it were any other car that we had done, whether it's an Avenger you know, or one of the minivans, um, there you have to apply some yeah. things that are very brand specific so that people know, hey, this is the new you know, Dodge minivan or this is the new Dodge sedan. But you know, with the Challenger, it's, the lineage is there. It, it's already there. You don't have to tell someone, hey, this is a Dodge. You don't have to put all the, the things that you know, we associate with Dodge on the car. The Challenger, just the line work, the body side, the kick up, yep. the DLO graphic, the shape of the front end, it's very much Dodge. One of the areas we were able to refine was the uh, um, just sort of the overall side view profile of the car. Um, the original concept car was sort of very chunky and very muscular, but we've been able to tighten that up a little bit on the show car, and it is, it's actually a little more directional looking now. Um, you look back at the original 1970, and we had the car in the dome along with the concept, and there's a, a huge difference just between the proportions of the two cars. The original 70 is very long, very lean, um, very low. Um, the concept car, car is a more modern proportion where it's a little more chunky, a little more husky, but the concept car actually gets back a little bit more towards the original car, and then it's just a little bit leaner and a little bit lower. Um, one of the things that enabled us to do that was the dark sill on the underneath um, that you can see on the show car behind you. And that actually transitions into the lower spoiler, the chin spoiler on the front end of the car, and then also around to the back of the car, to the, the valence around the exhaust. Um, so that was one of the things that really just allowed us to sort of slim the car up and maybe make it a little more athletic, a little more light on its feet.